What's going on guys? Reaper here and welcome to Reaper Declassified. So this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while now and as you probably noticed from the video title I had a really good YouTube friend of mine from Illinois come out here to the Reaper compound for a meetup and a collaboration actually back in 2017. Now he's become a little bit of a local celebrity in his area since he's been out here and that's Hiking with Sean. Remember the other day I said something about a special guest. I had a surprise for you. That's not him. No, that you know who that is. But he's here. He's got his tent set up. He got lost a few times and about drove off a bridge that doesn't exist anymore. But guess who it is, man? It's it's Sean. It's tweaking with Sean. I mean, hiking with Sean. <laughs> What's going on, man? I gotta show you guys something because this is funny as hell. So. You know, when he said he was bringing a tent, I expected it to be something completely different. Instead of this, <laughs> and it's the smallest tent I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so we got Sean, <laughs> and we got the tent. Sean, tent. Sean, tent. Sean's about a foot and a half longer than the tent. I've got my jungle hammock set up. I've never ever used this thing, so I decided I would pull it out and set it up. It's an old Vietnam nylon style jungle hammock. I think it's like 68 dated. Um, the guy gave it to me years ago when I first started collecting Vietnam stuff, and it sat in a footlocker scent. So I decided uh, this weekend was as good a time as any to set it up and check it out. We got our fire going. We're probably gonna sit out here for a little bit, I think. And we're gonna light these tiki torches up when it gets a little darker and it's gonna be awesome. It's just like a little campsite out here and I think uh, I think Sean here is gonna enjoy it. What do you think, buddy? I think I'm gonna enjoy it. Let's <laughs> yeah. okay. It's day two. Sean has been up for the better part of the day. I kind of feel bad about it because I was a late bloomer today. I got in that hammock early this morning. I was watching the sun kind of come up. I think we killed the better part of what 20 beers last oh, night. Yeah. Stayed up throughout the course of the night chatting and just listening to music and sitting there at the campfire. <laughs> and man, when I went out, I didn't want to get up. I think I woke up one time this morning. And he said, "Good morning," <laughs> and I said, "Yeah." I went back to sleep. I mean, we're gonna head to one of the local trails here, so we're gonna head that way. We may check out the bridge because I haven't seen it yet. I know Sean almost ran off of it the other day. <laughs> Um, and then we're gonna hit this uh, trail and it's called Devil's Backbone. I think it's kind of a pretty well-known trail from my understanding. All right guys, so uh, we're here at uh, Mark Twain National Forest area, which those of you who don't know, pretty much surrounds my entire area. Um, we're just about anywhere you go out here is Mark Twain National Forest. It spans just hundreds and hundreds of miles. Um, I believe this is uh, the Devil's Backbone Trail. This is the main trailhead. Me and Sean uh, doing collab stuff, of course. I decided I'll add a little hiking uh, adventure into our daily routine and our videos and kind of show you some of this. So I think uh, we're going to get up, get on up in here and uh, like he said uh, in his video, hopefully not get eaten by bears, but it's, it's probably a bigger chance that I'll eat the bear. <laughs> After you, my friend. Hey buddy! Alright guys, so I've got uh, Sean up here in the lead. He's, uh, he's tweaked out once already. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what that was about, but uh, <laughs> before long, if we don't get out of these woods, something weird might happen. <laughs> Up 
there. Holy crap, guys, you won't believe this shit. Me and Sean ran into a couple of bears on the way out of the trail, man. I took off running. I have no idea where the hell Sean is. Uh, we kind of got split up. So I got to run back into the trail and find him. But, dude, that was freaking nuts. There was like three of them. No, I'm just screwing with you guys. Sean's right there. <laughs> We're off the trailhead. And we decided to kind of come to the, uh, the Hammonds camp area where I had shown you guys during the flood was completely... Uh, washed away for the most part. I haven't been down here yet to check it out. So Sean and I decided we're gonna come down here, kind of look at it, see what's going on. I know looks like they got all their heavy equipment out here and they're starting to work on rebuilding the bridge. Um, looks pretty crazy. Yeah. I'm not sure if they've already got the rest of the bridge out or not. From what I saw from the photos, it was on up around this bend over there somewhere. So, Nice to see that they're finally getting it worked on. All right, guys, we're here at uh, Hudson Mill, which I've never really shown you guys before. But uh, since we're here with Sean today, I figured I'd bring him over here and have him check it out. But we got a real neat waterfall, and if you look up there, they still got the wheel. And Well guys, uh, somebody just got air backed out. Um, kids that jumped up here and stopped traffic. Oh. I found it a little weird. Should have been a golf out in the middle of the road. But uh, from what they said, sounded like somebody had a heart attack and they dropped them in here toy bridges. And probably about the best place down here close by. Alright guys, so uh, it decided to rain on us tonight. I stoked up the fire and in, in our infinite wisdom of not wanting to go inside like normal people. Uh, we just pulled out the canopy here, put it up as best as we could. Some of the arms somehow or another got broken on the way back from Tigerland, so I just, you yeah, know, duct tape, why not? So we're going to sit out here until it either gets really, really bad or apparently we get smoked out by that fire over there. <laughs> Well, I guess it was a really good idea I put up this canopy. Um, started getting a little heavy rain. I kind of stoked that fire, got as many hot coals in it as I could. Don't know how long the tiki torches will uh, handle it, but uh, we're gonna wait it out a little bit. And see, uh, see what transpires. But like Sean was saying a few minutes ago, <laughs> every uh, upside to good heavy downpour is we're getting close to uh, the storm so we're close to the end of the storm I guess all right guys so it's day three uh, we decided to kind of take it easy today and just kind of chill out and hang out uh, but we decided we're gonna go ahead and do a little shooting it is the 3rd of July uh, hopefully Sean doesn't shoot himself we'll see <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, Sean was telling me yesterday that he has never fired an AR-15. I figured, well, hell, I got three of the damn things. I couldn't let him leave without uh, without firing one for the first time ever. So I'm going to pop his cherry today with an AR-15. You cannot save me, because I don't need saving. It's everything I've been chasing. 
all here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the all right, guys, so tomorrow's the 4th of July, and this is America, man. This is America! Oh, yeah. That was perfect. <laughs> That was amazing. I can't see anything now. Ants are having a mini firefight. <laughs> Somebody popped a drip player. It's machine gun fire. I wonder who's going to win. Alright guys, so uh, it's raining again. So uh, it's kind of one of them screw it moments. We're just going to blow shit up anyway. So let's get to it. Bow. Wow, wow. America! Woo! Give me some ball. Oh! Pretty! I need a ball. Man, your balls are warm. That's totally going in the outtakes. I would just like to state at this moment that I've never had another man's balls in my hands. It's classified. Oh, that was a short round. That's kind of a dud up close and personal. <laughs> yeah, we're both like right there. Yeah. Yeah, but that was yeah. a short round. Yeah, I got that pretty close. Oh. <laughs> Okay guys, so I thought myself on whether or not I should keep this in the video, but honestly, it's just too funny not to. In fact, uh, I couldn't stop laughing while I was editing this part of the video, so <laughs> bear with us here. We were a little bit tipsy. Hey guys, guys, so Sean's out here trying to cook some wieners. He's already dropped two, but I made him stab this one and get it back and look at it. <laughs> It's a little deformed, but I fucking got it. <laughs> it looks like a rat knot on it. <laughs> it's a little limp. Yeah, it's a little limp. Limp wiener. That's a good name for a new band. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to it? <laughs> what did you do? I dropped it in the fire. I want you to eat it. Uh, uh, <laughs> eat it. Uh, eat it. Uh, Is it ashy? <laughs> well, you heard her here, gentlemen. It tastes all right. Hey, Sean. Just remember. Have a good night. <laughs> oh, here, here's a pre here's a present for you. Yep, that happened. All right, guys, it's the fifth. Sean's got everything packed up, but uh, he's about to get ready to head out and mosey on home. Yep. You have to let us know whenever you get back, mm -hmm. so we know you got back all right. Yep. Don't call me every 20 minutes, tell me you're lost. Yeah, try not. So Sean's gonna give me a sticker. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Hell yeah, I'll have to get that put on the board, man. I think that was the... Want a business card? Yeah, I'll take a business card. Turn it around. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's going in the trash. <laughs> but no, man, he, uh, that was one of the big things. He's been waiting to give me a sticker until he came out here. So we'll, uh, we'll put this on the board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start crying in a few seconds, guys. 
But anyway, Sean's heading out, and I'm gonna record that gloriously beautiful moment as he just backs away. Don't hit anything. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. And then he turns right into the tree. And in about 10 minutes, he's going to call me on the phone and say he's going to see Originally, I posted six separate videos of the meetup over on my main channel, Grim Reaper, but they just didn't do the meetup justice. Now, those videos are still live, so if you want to check them out, I've got the link to my main channel in the description below. I've also linked Sean's channel and videos, so once you're finished up with this, guys, I highly suggest that you head on over there and show him some love. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know that I enjoyed taking a look back at the adventures with me and Sean. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, because here in the future, I definitely plan on doing several more collaborations and YouTube or YouTuber meetups. But until next time, remember guys, stay frosty, ride or die, reaper out.